Hey, welcome to this new video. Um, today I'm going to unpack some new solar tools, um, solar iron, uh, I think this is a hot air station, or maybe I'm mistaken the two, I have to check. And there's a, you can just read it through the box, a preview desoldering station, which is needed for BJ soldering. So let's unpack those. So the first here is the BJ rework station, so I'm really wondering how it looks like. So there's a power cable, this is a not for my country, this is for, I think, Australia. I will grab another one. Manual, which looks quite decent. The question is if we need to read manuals. Oh, there's a, an adapter plug here for the European market. But um, actually, I don't trust these because they're often made by a simple pressing contacts and I don't trust these for high power machines. And I'm not sure what this, this one needs. So I'll probably get another cable. Um, all right, okay, I think I need to put the, the box upside down. Oh, some uh, front screws here. Not sure what they're for. We'll see. Let's get rid of the plastics. Okay, I see what the front screws are for. The front screws are for uh, holding the board in place. Um, not sure how it works yet. Have to check. So you can see the, oh, the heating element here in the middle. Um, high temperature warning. Really? Okay, here's the control. System, actual temperature and set temperature. Okay. The actual temperature, of course, is more important, so I think we'll keep it pressed. This is the, the setting of the temperature. It's a good quality switch, as far as I can feel. It's better than the, the weather soldering iron switch I recently bought. We'll come back to that in a couple of minutes. Um, anyway, this uh, seems a, um, well, a decent quality. Uh, of course, it's from China. I buy all the stuff from China. The only thing is that it's a bit wobbly, I have to check why, because all the feet are the same height and there's no damage as far as I can see. But maybe it's my uh, piece of uh, wood underneath this. And I wonder how this will get... Oh, I see, I see. Okay, okay. It's, it's quite simple. Look, if you screw it in, it will just screw the, the, the bar to the, the, to the other bar. So, this way... This way, yeah, so it won't move anymore. Let's just put them in because it will, we will need them later on when we're going to use it. And it will actually stop making the terrible noise when they fall. So this is the Yihua 853A. And I bought this because um, Jan Kisira and I are planning on um, uh, testing or trying the production of the MBO3 interface here with the pick and place machine and uh, there are some BJ parts in there. So we want to know if it's possible to do it um, with our own systems. Um, I'm, I'm going to just connect this rework station with the cable included just to see how the um, display looks. But I'm not going to power it on. I'm not going to use the, the heating element yet because I don't trust the plugs here. It just looks ridiculous as well, you know. Anyway, I have those plugs as well, but not for high, high power uh, setups. Is it powered on? No, it's off. It's good. I ordered this one at AliExpress and I'm going to put a link in the description, of course. Let's see how the display looks. Okay, so this is actual temperature. And this is set. Ooh, it's really quite high. So I think if I, if I put it to 111, which is the set temperature at this moment, I should expect this to rise. It's not rising yet. Not sure why. It is rising, okay. Let's put it down because I don't want to uh, have it consume too much power with a cheap plug. Okay, let's power that up. And I want, I'm want. i curious how much power it actually uses. That's at the back. So let's uh, check what it says there. It's really a uh, quite decent quality. It says 500 watts and that's what I meant. It's quite a lot of power. It's a couple of amperes through the cable and I don't like to uh, pull 500 watts through pressing contact. It's a, an authenticity label. You can scratch it so you can reveal the complete QR code. Mm, mm, never seen that before. Anyway, okay, this is a, this is the first, and uh, this brand Jua uh, makes lots of um, solar equipment and other tools. Um, so this is the first thing I bought, um, and I have no place to put it yet because you can see all, all my space here is, uh, is used at the moment. But I'm going to clear the space at the back there with the two blue cabinets and I will move them somewhere else so I can put all the equipment here. Okay, so the next one is um, this hot air 
station and I think it is, it's the one in this box because I got a couple of boxes with solder equipment. I don't think this is from Viewa, and I'm not sure to check. It's not on the box, and uh, it was in the other box. I think this is just another brand, I don't know. So let's open it up. And I bought this because uh, Jen Crusader also um, showed me what the benefits are of a proper hot air station instead of this cheap hot air. Um, yeah, well, how do you, how you call it? Uh, iron. <laughs> I don't know. This one is a. Uh, the, the, this cheap one is so slow compared to this one. I've seen the results and uh, I'm really looking forward to having a proper one. There are some uh, extras in this box. This is uh, the correct plug. And let's use this cable. It's, it's still quite a cheap cable. It's not too thick. So I, I'm not hoping this uses too much current. Um, it says 10 amperes, but I definitely don't trust the cable. Anyway, I think the 10 amperes should be thicker. Uh, so spare element. Um, but I think the machine automatically uh, cools down when you hang the, the iron into the machine. That's great. Okay, some other tools, some plier tools, which can, you can use for reworking uh, boards. These are quite good quality, uh, as far as you can see. So I like that those are added. And I, I think I had to select this this complete set because you can buy the machine itself without all the extras. But I think I did it because there it was, it wasn't too much uh, extra to pay, so I decided to buy all the extra stuff. This is a 700 watt 858D. It says plus here. Hot air. Station. So a couple of nozzles, which are uh, very helpful if you uh, need some more space to cover. This is, I don't know, looks like an antenna. <laughs> have to check. No more nozzles. It seems I have two sets here. No, I'm not sure why. Are, are they? No, they're all different. I think they're all different sizes. Okay. Um, this paper and this is the uh, manual part of the machine this plug is very recognizable from uh, some soldering stations so here's the actual unit you can uh, set the amount of air so the air speed this is meant for temperature I guess and this is to calibrate you can hardly press it so let's connect all and see how it works. In the, the back it says as well 700 watts. There's even a fuse here somewhere. Oh yeah, a fuse underneath here of course. And you can ground your uh, hand or something with a, with a cable if you need to. So uh, all goes through one cable, which is, uh, which is cool. There are no uh, screws on the nozzles, so you just put them on. Of course, when, when it's powered off, because otherwise you can burn your hands. And then I want to attach the mounting system here. And I think it works by, um, how do you call it, the uh, magnetic relay. Um, which is useful because it automatically powers down when you put it to the right of the machine. That's what I've seen. So that's, that's one of the good things, you don't have to manually um, set temperature low or something when you're st stopped using the machine and uh, can, can continue using it with just putting it up. I hope this is the correct way of installing this. I don't know. Yeah, I think it is. One more screw here, and then it's screwed. It's a bad joke, I know. Okay. Let's power it on, it switches off, the plug is plugged. I don't hear anything, but I think it will start when we pick it up. Isn't that cool? <laughs> you see it automatically stops, this is just great, you know, man. Uh, temperature setting is uh, quite fast. I have, I have no idea what the temperature setting should be on this machine because uh, the other one that I have there, uh, I have to set it to 800 degrees to easily get SMD parts off. Um, so let's let's try it. Uh, let's see how fast it reaches the temperature. I think this is what I set. This is not what it's what it's at at the moment, is it? It is hot already. Not too hot, but but I, I wonder. I cannot see what it's actually. But actually reached but I, I think it's hot almost instantly then wow it's really really fast really a lot faster than the, the other one i used 
So I think that's the benefit of this, and I think it, it's not too hot because I just put the temperature at 200 degrees, so that, that may, may be the, the reason. And you can see, oh wow, it automatically drops quite fast, and I think it will stop when it reaches uh, 100 degrees or something or less. It then stops automatically. I, will, I think I will just keep it at the ma maximum uh, speed setting. So you see, when it uh, goes below 100 degrees, it will automatically switch off. And that's perfect, so the, the element, the heating element won't be damaged. Because if you just switch it off when it's hot, uh, it will die after a couple of uh, uses. So that's a good thing about this. Um, oh yeah, of course the read relay. Um, I'm not sure where it's put. Uh, maybe there's a magnet inside the, the holder, I'm not sure. Uh, and the read relay is in the hand part. Uh, I, I have no idea. Uh, anyway, but it works great. I, I think I really like this. So this also came from AliExpress, um, I will link it in the description. Uh, these, these machines are so cheap on AliExpress and it's really uh, a big step forward if you use the, the, the simple one, which is also, I think, uh, 30 euro or something. So this is just a bit more, um, but it's uh, really useful because it's fast, it's, uh, it's, it's more easy to use. You can leave the, the machine um, in front of you, you don't have to put it on the shelf like this. So this has a couple of benefits and I'm really happy I finally ordered one. So the last one I'm going to review, or open at least, is this uh, Yotec solder station. You can see it on the box, solder station, uh, nothing here. It's type 900, I'm not sure what the exact type is. Oh, it's here, it's 967. So, let's open it up. And I bought this because I also bought this Weller WE10010 setup which I really hate it's a really uh, cheap quality it broke within a week it's all, the, all these small breaks you can maybe I'm not sure if the camera picks it up so the, the element um, fell off the the handing uh, handled part and also the the plastic or the rubber material here came off within a couple of days so it, this is really so, a pain in the ass I, I don't like the machine as well um, at all because I paid 150 euro for the weather and uh, this one is just 25. And I think it's better quality, and I'm not joking. So I'm going to do a comparison in another video. I'm just going to unpack it now. Uh, let's see what the differences are. What's in here? Oh, oh, oh. So this is the holder part with really, really the tiniest sponge I've ever seen, but was probably if we use some water. Uh, I, I like doing that, but we'll, we'll do that in a second and we'll make a close up. Oh, it's a Chinese. Ah, I can read that not. More Chinese here, more Chinese, oh, oh, only Chinese. I don't need manuals, never use them. So this is the iron, uh, maybe it's good to, to actually compare this one to the weather iron. Um, it's the same plug as the, uh, the, the solar station we just uh, checked, and I like the plugs. So let's uh, compare them. So they're really about the same size, there's not, not too much difference. The weather seems to be a bit longer if you if you compare it that way. Um, I do, I'm not sure what, what is the better quality. What I can see here is some similar foam as on the weather is used here. So I really wonder how long that will last. Um, but the rest is because this weather is just a cheap ass product. Um, I think the, uh, the system is about the same quality. It doesn't feel different. Uh, this one benefit of the, the weather type is you can easily unscrew this uh, part uh, with your hands when it's hot because there's some plastic around it. And this one you have to cool it down first, but it's also easy to open. I don't think there are more um, tips in, in here. This is the tip part, so it's quite big. I think I have to buy a couple more, and the element is underneath that, of course. Uh, so be careful with that. Uh, I think the, you cannot reach the element as easily as the Weller one, so this could be a bit more fragile, I'm not sure. The cable uh, is really flexible. It's, it's good quality, good flexible stuff here, and that's, that's important with a soldering iron, because you don't want the cable to get tangled or something. So let's continue unboxing this. Let's get to the uh, station itself. And it's really awesome that they can offer you this stuff, including shipping for about 25 euro. How on earth are they able to do that? Oh, there's one, <laughs> one problem that the cable is not uh, detachable. They included the wrong plug, so we need the other cable with the uh, adapter. And the good thing is, is that soldering irons uh, often use about 70 watts, so I guess this one uses less than one ampere. As you can see, here, 75 watts, so it's uh, a third of an ampere or something, uh, or even less, um, on the um, main side. So 
This adapter won't do any harm when using it on this soldering station. Right, but I just may uh, put on another plug. Get in you. Yep. Um, let's not plug it in yet. I'm sure it's powered on. This feels cheap, very cheap. But I think I've seen a photo uh, of it opened and it's, there's a modern um, switching circuit inside. So not a transformer like with all the... Whereas this, this actually has a transformer inside, I'm, I'm sure of that. Uh, this feels even better than the Weller one, this was cheap. Um, and this is, this is just this is, it's a very simple thing, but um, for 25 euro, come on man, how can you make this? Um, looks as like something broke off here, but I'm not sure. Uh, I think we'll just go in there. Oh, this, is, this is just plastic, <laughs> this is ridiculous. So the, the system where it's hanging in, it's just plastic and there's no, no other part here. So, okay, the holder is of the simplest quality I've ever seen, but maybe I can use the Weller one. <laughs> so uh, there are some benefits on the Weller ones. Uh, I will probably use that one um, instead of the plastic one, but we'll see. It's not touching the back or something, but I, I guess I will uh, smell some uh, burning plastic if I use the one included with this cheap solar iron, but it's only 25 euro, guys. Come on. Um, is there a fuse in here? It doesn't say, and I cannot see any fuse, so I wonder if it's fused. I hope it is. I should, I should open it up, maybe. Uh, there are some screws in the back, so uh, we'll, we'll check it out. Shall we, shall we start with that? Why not? Because um, there have been a couple of uh, videos, I think uh, quite a lot, um, about the weather stations that they don't have a thermal fuse or a uh, on our type of fuse anymore and for example um, oh, I forgot his name from the EV block uh, YouTube channel he, uh, he showed that um, when he plugged a one, one on a 10 volt weller station into a 230 outlet somewhere uh, it started smoking and there wasn't any fuse stopping it from smoking um, and that, uh, that turned out to be um, uh, that all the cheap weather stations now do not, do not have a fuse or thermal fuse uh, which is oh, really ridiculous and it seems that there, there's more where they try to save money on I think because of these cheap uh, Chinese stuff of course but uh, Weather was always a brand that was well known for quality if you bought a Weather you, you, you were sure to have a quality product and it's not true anymore so if you buy this Weather station this is again the WE10010 model um, it's really a cheap product it's, it's really it feels cheap, the, the switch is wobbling. Um, okay, the display is fine, but it's not fast, it's, it's quite slow. Uh, and this is the, the, the iron itself is just bad quality. I've never seen such a bad product from weather. So I will not buy another weather. Of course, I can buy a professional one, and then I will get most probably the quality that I'm used to because I had another one, but that wasn't adjustable, the temperature. But the other one lasted for years, and I never had any problem with that. And, and now I bought a new one, which is, uh, I think, still quite a lot of money, 150 euro, and I regret buying it. Um, so I won't buy another weather anymore, um, just to show them I'm not happy with what they did. Um, and I think more people decided that after seeing the videos from um, the EV blog and uh, Lewis Rossman and other guys. I won't do it anymore. I, I should have bought a Heco uh, from the same price range, but I decided to buy a cheap one from China to just compare and see what this does. I want to see if there's a fuse inside uh, this cheap one. So this is Yotec 967. Let's open it up. And there is a fuse, but it's soldered. It's hard to see. It's, it's, it's underneath there. There's no power plug-in. So there is a fuse there. Um, let's, let's put a thermal thing here at the side. So we have a thermal... I think this is a thermal fuse. You can uh, re uh, replace it as well, and there's a fuse on the board as well. So you can replace it. There's a voltage regulator there. The quality looks quite decent. Um, I'm not sure if the clearance between the mains and the low power is good enough. They, they put a wide line about the higher voltage part. Uh, so I think they, they did a quite a good job. Um, it, it actually seems quite good quality. It's fused, and that gives me a good feeling. So if something happens, it will shut off and I can replace the fuse. It's almost screwed back, so I can almost power it on. I want to know, of course, how it works and how fast it is. So, uh, Yotec 967. Let's see uh, how it powers on. I will set the temperature and I will see how fast it uh, gets actually to the set temperature. 
and it starts here. Oh, this is a countdown of testing all these stuff. Okay, 100 degrees. It's quite fast. Wow. So it started uh, heating up immediately. Oh, wow. This is way faster than this, the weather. So we'll do a comparison on the video, but this is really way faster. Let me get some uh, solar wire here. It worked. It's way faster. I can put it up, set it to 340 now. I just don't trust this plastic thing here. It will really melt. <laughs> anyway, um, it's, a, it's a great unit. I can hear some buzzing. Don't mind that at all. Uh, there's no... Uh, <laughs> it looks like, like this is a, a heating hole, so, but it's just a closed plastic case, so heat cannot go out. But because it's an efficient circuit, I guess it won't get hot that easily. Um, Alright, so the, the holder is just of, of bad quality. I just want to see how the sponge wells up when we put in some water. Let me show you that. Get the sponge growing, because who does it like that? We'll do it slowly. Once more, I think. Look at it grow. I think it reaches maximum size now. Okay, so enough of that ASMR crap. <laughs> I won't continue doing that. Um, I think this is a cool station for just 25 euro, and, and really, how they how they managed to do that because. I cannot make something like this for 25 euro with all the parts on the board, with the cable, the plugs, the all the extra parts, the injection molded um, holder here, which is <laughs> terrible quality. But anyway, uh, it's it's just a great buy. So the Yotec 967, I will link it in the in the description, of course. Uh, I really like uh, uh, buying this, and um, I will do another video of the comparison between the Weather WE 10,010 and this Yotec 967. So this, this one is actually six times more expensive and it's worse quality, I can tell you that. Okay, thank you for watching now guys and see you in another video. Bye!